Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. With October 30th and the start of the second season of The Mandalorian right around the corner, I thought it'd be fun to speculate a little bit on what we might see in the upcoming season. For quite some time, it's been rumored that Ahsoka Tano would be appearing in the second season of The Mandalorian, with speculation going so far as to say that Rosario Dawson would be playing the live-action version of the titular character. If that were the case, how might Ahsoka find herself crossing paths with our homies Baby Yoda and Din Djarin? At the end of Season 1, after Din explained to the armorer that Baby Yoda can move things with its mind, the armorer tells Din about the Jedi and tasks him with reuniting the adorable little bastard with its kind. This means Din will be searching for information on the Jedi and probably Baby Yoda's species, setting the stage for Season 2 and a possible Ahsoka appearance. Searching for information on the Jedi kills two birds with one stone for Din, since the Jedi Council featured two individuals from Baby Yoda's species, Yoda and Yaddle. With Ahsoka being a former Jedi and being someone that survived Order 66 and was around during the days of the Republic and the Jedi Order, it stands to reason that she'd be someone that could help Din learn about the Jedi Order and Baby Yoda's species. Even though Ahsoka is not technically a Jedi, she's someone who can definitely provide information on the Jedi, the Jedi Order, the Force, as well as info on Yoda and Yaddle's species. Ahsoka can help point Din in the right direction for locating other Jedi, as she's probably well aware of Luke Skywalker and his burgeoning Jedi Order, and maybe even share some info on Ezra, which would be dope. Nope. Furthermore, the trailer for Season 2 showed Din and Baby Yoda on an ice planet, and many fans, including myself, are speculating that the planet is Ilum, the sacred planet utilized by the Jedi Order for Jedi younglings to obtain their kyber crystals. If that planet is indeed Ilum, Ahsoka could play some role in pointing Din in the direction of the planet, either by telling him how to get there since it's in the unknown regions, or pointing him in the direction of someone that could tell him how to get there. If Ahsoka wasn't the person that informed Din of Ilum, Din might obtain information on Ilum that could point him in Ahsoka's direction. Additionally, rumors have also swirled that the Mandalorian Bo-Katan Kryze is also set to appear in the upcoming season of The Mandalorian. If that's the case, Bo-Katan could provide information to Din on how he could track down Ahsoka as Ahsoka and Bo-Katan teamed up to defeat Maul and his Shadow Collective during the Siege of Mandalore. Another rumor circulating the internet is that Tamir Morrison, the actor who played Jango Fett in the prequels, is slated to appear in the upcoming season. It's rumored he'll appear as Boba Fett, but he could just as easily appear as our boy Rex, who would also be able to point Din in Ahsoka's direction. Lastly, since Dave Filoni has a large role in The Mandalorian and worked on The Clone Wars and Rebels, the previous shows where Ahsoka played substantial roles in, it almost seems like a lock to me that Ahsoka will be appearing in The Mandalorian in one way or another. Since the armorer tag in with reuniting Baby Yoda with its kind, there are a myriad of ways that Season 2 of The Mandalorian may have Din Djarin and Baby Yoda crossing paths with our homegirl, Ahsoka Tano. Ahsoka is my girl and is one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars, so her inclusion in the upcoming season of The Mandalorian would be baller as hell. But what do you guys think? How do you think Ahsoka Tano might cross paths with Din Djarin and Baby Yoda in Season 2 of The Mandalorian? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay...